My cake board is 550 millimeters, 55 centimeter, by 350 millimeters, which is 35 centimeter. So uh, logically, that we use the blue velvet uh, to represent the C, to represent the C, and I have also some uh, double-sided stickers underneath. Approximately, we know where the fish coming, so we have to put this double-sided sticker when we remove that plastic lining later on, so that the cake doesn't move around. So that that holds it, uh, prevent from moving around. So underneath here, there is a, a plastic uh, a line coming on it, but it's not really uh, sticks around. And we have also some styrofoam legs, which gives us some sort of like a finger space that we can lift up always cake easily. I'm going to follow this picture because I like the, the position of it, as I said. And I have here my plastic, uh, actually white glass paper. One side is shiny, which I cannot use my pencil. Another side is uh, quite matte, so I will use my pencil first and then continue with the marker pen. So then I have this, um, uh, just like a file separators, which is plastic. It's a bit of see-through, so I can actually, after drawing, I can put them on it, on it and then cut it properly for my, for my stencils, for my templates. So, okay, first thing is, uh, I'm going to attempt to start the, my pencil drawing. So the decision had been done, this cake has to be 20 portion. 20 portion cake means uh, approximately about 125 gram uh, cake only without the rolling fondant without any decoration so we have to use at least at least sort of like a 2.2 uh, 2.5 kilo of cake and then of course the including with the uh, crumb coats and everything so but this is not going to be a bit always the exact amount so because we're talking about a shape matching to the weight so the experience will give you some sort of understanding how big is to be the cake, but approximately the drawing what I'm going to do today, it will serve about 20 portion. So uh, the challenge is here, how do I make this cake, this fish, on this board, to fit exactly, uh, the, all the fins and everything fit exactly this, this, uh, this square, the rectangular here, and then the sword is so long, um, if I start the sword here, and then uh, come around there, and then the fish start, it may be just not enough space in here. And uh, we may be uh, using too big board if we get the sword inside the board. So what I'm gonna do is something, a, a little trick. I'm gonna get the sword out of the board. So it will give us a little bit of like interesting part, like the cake coming out of the board, also fish jumping out of the board. So now, just a little trick. I'm crossing one eye, one eye like that, and I'm just, get this fish positioned on that board, and then coming close to my eyes and then getting also far away to my eyes. So I'm gonna get in sort of like a just right position, just it looks like a projection on the board, I can see. So that is the size the cake has to be on this board. So I have here my eyes, my object, and then my surface, but I can't see underneath. So I can see that here, move a little bit. So this will be my approximate body here. That will be then my fin starting or fish finishing here just like this and then uh, that will be my tail here something like that all right and then that's the head of the fish and this will be a sword coming out of the board here and then that will be then the the mouth approximately so i have my basic lines here i didn't i done it by doing that and then after that i'm going to go more details here so Put this one there. I always use pencil first. I'm sure you have uh, heard about that before also. And uh, then after that, I will use my single line marker to make it much more proper. So that's the, that's the, the sword. Then that fin is very important. It goes about like this. And uh, the tail. Like that. There's one small fin here. And then in the picture, the, this fin is here, but I'm going to make it a little bit more far away to make it more, more clear. So then, 
Okay, you see that is the this part, which is the cheek of the fish. And there's one small fin here, and then one fin like this, like this. Then I can get a little bit more meat here on the on the pad. And that should be maybe a little bit more longer here. And then get this. As I said, if you do it with the pencil, you, you have freedom. You have freedom there to to move it around. You don't have to clean the pencil or whatever. Just to, just do it without any any fear. Like this. That should be there. And then I'm going to use now my marker to make it much more nicer. The eye position is very important. It should be somewhere around here. All right. Then is the what else? This one. Okay. And this one. Alright, I think we are there. So then the just to make a little bit more uh, detail on it, just I have my uh, airbrushing will be around that area as to follow the body shape. And then second line will be around in there. Then I will have my white lines. that so that should be and then as you see that is like a uh, inside of the mud it's a bit dark so in this part here that's not a problem that will be then extra piece that to join into the cake so I will be a little bit more longer here to join and then this will be actually goes like this so more longer to push in the cake that will be a piece exactly here uh, other pastures goes around here and uh, and then I will have some sort of like extension here also with the with the IC, with the same pastures longer to pocket in and this part will be uh, it will be joint additional piece to cover it that to create that mud piece yes my drawing is finished now I'm going to produce my uh, templates Thank you.